books in my head, and shop in my head, and shop in my head, and I was like, wow, this is really cool. And it wasn't until I think we aired our first season, and we should like do like a cave, like you're filming like a cave, and then you go out and meet people all like this in a theater, and it was like you were the Beatles. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was like, oh, the screenings are so exciting for the show. And I was like, oh, people watch. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then from there, I realized that I had a lot of inspiring and valuable things to share. I joined later, so I think I, I already knew what the show was going to end up. Just talking about it, it was impossible, especially living in Canada, to even if you hadn't seen the show, you saw ads for the show, and, and you know, I, I knew what Oscar was. And I don't think it was until that first round of Comic Con for me as well, and walking out on the stage and seeing so many people and hearing people's stories firsthand. Because that's so true. When, when you're filming, it's not like doing theater where you're getting this sort of feedback from people as you're doing it in real time. So you're just kind of doing what you're doing, you know, and then that was really cool. That day was really cool. Um, and that's when I, I really realized how much it meant to Yeah. And you think like that. And you were the leader number one for over six years. Um, is, like, what was it like to be the leader? And is that something you would ever do again? Knowing how long you mentioned it's like it's just. Yeah. Did you say that's a good question? Yeah. yeah. You are um, great at it. You are amazing. Thank you. I loved leading that show. I did. I loved, um, it was a dream come true for me. I, I knew it would be a lot of work. I don't know that I realized the stamina that I would need. But I loved telling the story over that long period of time. And I really, I felt like my job obviously was to tell a story on the screen, but I also felt behind the scenes that my job was to be like the greatest host of a party that I could be. Oh no, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. And so, <laughs> you told me. I know, yeah. I'm very proud of that aspect of the show. Yeah. And, um, oh no. It was a clean act. It was a clean act. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Let's get it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Would I ever do it again? Uh, well, it's not so great now, so I don't know. Um, I would, in terms of storytelling, I'd love to do it again. I would love that experience again. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be safe to family life at this point. But maybe the right project came along. So I would have to do it in a second. I would have to do it in a second. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I'm a kind of a one. Like, it's so much responsibility to be one of and like you spoil me for like 100%. Just like the way you act with yourself and with so much class and grace to give you her. And you are a couple. And I love you. Yeah, you are amazing. Yeah, but I'm spoiled and I won't tell you. You're the genetic and the genetic. Yeah. You like taught everyone what it meant to be the future. I agree. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. I'm going to be I mean, I can't speak to the entire archive. I assume you weren't a monster the rest of the time. Yeah. When I was there, it was only the most. Yeah, yeah she got real mean. She got me at later. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, I mean, for me, uh, you were remarkably welcoming and so warm. Uh, we do really have to say it's beyond. You know just an example of it. Like, you know, it just, yes. Own it. Yeah, well, you are, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll move on to the serious question. So, I know this is a Um, what is the favorite character Sarah like? Oh, that's a good one. Sarah Lake. Sarah Lake. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
too. I can't remember what season, and I was getting this gift bag from something that called Oh, okay. Oh, do you remember? Oh, I still have my sister. Oh, my God. And I gave us all. Can I tell the story? Yes. And I gave us all. This is most fun. Again, it starts with Anna. May I tell the story? Yes. So, Anna gave us all perfume one year as a group, which was so lovely, it was incredible oil, it was and it smelled so wonderful. I still have it. It's so lovely. You can only get the movie that's right one. I still have it, and I still wear it sometimes. It's and because so the first time I wore it on set, after I went to bed, everyone was like, oh, he's on my God. And I was like, oh, I need to wear it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, thank you. Thank you. And it just smells like love you. Yes, I think so too. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Whatever that means to you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, My question for you, Emily, would be, what is your favorite about the Oh, I have an old one that's like this continue, which is, um, I think it's called Black Velvet, or something velvet, or I'm going to say for you. It's like, Tom, it's like a Tom Ford, Tom Ford, totally ripped off. Like that's the thing, it's like a cheap old um, artist. Wait a second, it's not Black Rogan. It's not Rogan. It's like a thing for you? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Do you like your own? No, I, I, that's basically what I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Okay, another very curly question. It's going to be any character in any universe that has ever existed. Who do you want your character to meet? Hold on, wait, I'm still thinking about that. Okay. <laughs> any character, so Leia from Star Wars, uh, any character from Star Trek, Trek, any character that has ever existed, who would you like your character to meet? Yeah, and what does that look like? Yeah, these are really good. Who? Shake out, right? It was important that both stories were told and that she didn't necessarily make a choice. 
Um, I think that it taught me so much going into her about what was important to me and what could be done. And more than that, what you see today is that it allowed me to show my bosses and networks and studios, studios and producers have such an enormous audience for it of people who love genre and love queer rap and are smart and get it and will show up for it, right? Which I think is critical. Yes. Um, I think those battles continue, but like, I think Lost Girl, and I'm completely biased, is completely underrated as a show. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, it was such a pleasure. It definitely changed my life. Happy with Oscar. And Lost Girl's really underrated. I can just talk to her and stuff like that. <laughs> um, her value are two episodes. And I don't know yeah. if you know, but she entered an episode of Hubert. Yeah. So, like, just all the destiny. I feel like it may have the strangest juju surrounding me. Like, things just all the time. Okay, good. In a good so, way or bad? In a good way. Okay. <laughs> um, so, we saw that. Yeah, it's true. That part. We saw that for two episodes. You really came through uh, in season two. What would Val's, like, more of Val's possible look like to you? What do you think? Um, I'm going to have to think about this. I think that Val's going to struggle with uh, going on within her. So, for my part, I would like to see. Um, more of that, and more of her, um, I don't believe in evil, um, but more of her um, darkness, um, and potentially her coming to the light at some point. Um, Rachel, you came in season three, um, as Tamsin and Tamsin went through quite a lot, and had many lives and many stages on the show. Did you have a favorite thing that you got to play for Tamsin? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I felt like I got to play so many different, Tamsin was like an onion that I kept just being able to peel back different layers out of her because in the beginning she was very uh, headstrong and bold and they had a crush on Chris Reed, and then, <laughs> you know, and then in the second season, we saw her peel back to almost this child, I mean, really actually a childlike like or something. I remember thinking, oh, no one's going to like Tamsin anymore, because they've gotten to know Tamsin in this one thing, and now she's something completely different, and I was really worried about it, and the people loved her as that. I felt like I got to, like, humor our love story, um, see the heartbreak there, and then... And, and some really, really tough things that she went through that sort of broke her down and emotionally in a different way, but at the same time ended up giving her this beautiful freedom at the end. Um, so I know a lot of people were upset about the way that she ended, but in a way I, I felt you know, no life lasts forever. And Tamsin got everything that she wanted in the last moments, and I was, I was so happy for her um, for that, I think. You know, obviously, if the show continued, I would have been super pissed. But they did it, but just for me. Listen, we think that a human from Valhalla, we can go get a free Valhalla, right? Come on. Yeah. Um, so, if your character was stuck in an elevator with any other character, <laughs> or actually, I'm sorry, I missed some other question. If you, and if you, Eric, and you, Rachel, were stuck, with a lost character in an elevator. Who do you want me to do?
I would say both, but there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah. Between the two of us, but also, uh, I, I don't know, I'm speaking partly as me, but also we bring ourselves to our characters, and so, you know, uh, so in that context with Bo, um, I would want to go back in and, like, you know, learn about the depths of how we work and your life and what motivates you, your feelings and stuff. I don't know, I really annoying, right? so, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I, I I'm really claustrophobic and I actually did get stuck in Oh yeah, actually no no, I don't want to be stuck in now. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, no, no, but I love you. You need to be stressed. You'd be stressed. Well that looks interesting. Yeah, like I get really I mean I need to stuck in They actually call. Did you scream? Did you scream? No, that's the thing that people tell me. I really scared those phones are. Oh, they were trying to observe your level of panic and say you tamped it down. I did. I did. I was like, it's pretty fine, guys. I'm just going to call. And it was an elevated option that set. So they needed to be like, oh, we're going to craft college. This is a nice town. They were getting out and out. I don't know. Did you get like confused after? Like how was that comparison? I don't know. Did anyone talk to you ever? No. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah. No, she's not. Okay, she's medical. Okay, they both get the phone. I don't know. Oh, God. Okay, no, we're out. 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 We're but I think the question that everyone wanted me to ask was, of course, 12 years later, 7 years later, we'll pretend, even though you love like Andy, we'll pretend that Tansy was not unloved, and that she was a love. What are your characters doing now? Probably caring for my daughter. Aww. Yeah. And caring for my sister. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I feel like Paul and Lauren are very happy. I really do. It went through the whole of it. <laughs> and I think that the, I mean, to me, what I loved about the ending was the, the, that Bo's true legacy was then passed on to a younger female. So I feel like she's kind of taking reins and helping kind them of be wise, uh-huh. up here for some wisdom. Right. Like, there's just a lot of peace. I love that. I think I'll put a pen on my nose. Yeah. Yeah. Since I was two years old, 
always wanted to do something kind of like this. Uh, obviously, I've, I've been kept going and I found other things. <laughs> Joy as an actor, and I've now explored it at, at, at greater depth and just more, more of the artistry of it and so on. But yeah, I do remember at the time just kind of being really fulfilled by it. It was oh, a wow. really lovely mood on the set. Everybody was great. I enjoyed what I was offered to do, and I enjoyed getting to do it. I feel like I was doing good. So, so that was my experience. I forgot the question. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I did it at the end. Oh, also. Oh, so I was like, I don't know. Oh, well, one more hours. Yeah. <laughs> it was a different. Um, I, I mean, look, I, I got to tell the whole story from beginning to end. But, and, you know, people are saying such nice things, but also, like, it's it was such a happy environment. It was stressful at times, for sure. But, but everyone, like, brought so much. And, like, I couldn't have done my job without everyone showing up. It's so much to bring to me, or writing something <laughs> that brought so much to me. Yeah. You know, like every guest star showed up game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it just like kept you on your toes and kept you excited. Um, that was not the question, but um, <laughs> I yeah, it's just different than anything. I had films. I I had done such small amounts of work here and there before that. So just guest stars and things like that. It also feels intimidating to walk onto the set as a guest star, frankly. So I knew everyone stepping onto Boswell was like nervous. Yeah. They were amazing. Yeah. Uh, this for everyone, uh, what projects could we be able to go for to see you guys in? Okay. Well, I've only been on the way for 10 days, so I'm still looking. <laughs> 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 Um, trust no one. And my uh, heading up the dynasty self, 
many years later would say, um, take a breath and trust yourself. Mine is more like from the concept of shore running. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's hard to say. It's like my, I would say to the person who started, you can probably do this. Like, calm down. Similarly, mm-hmm. you're going to figure it out and this is going to change your life. But I would be remiss if I didn't say there were things that I learned in my last season about retaining control of the story that I took on to other that makes sense? Like, I feel like there's things I would have done differently at the end just through the process of production and stuff like that. But I just, that guy took on to Earth that I was like, it's really, really important to make sure you're keeping it real simple and clean and that you maintain control of the story from the beginning to, to the end, if you want to show us what it is. Oh, it was all good, but yeah. Good lessons, good lessons. Um, I'm wearing such a long toss today. It's like, can't be funny. I'm sorry. Can't be funny. Okay, my first season self to my last season self would say, wait, I can't I know, it's so hard. Does that mean that, that, like, little Bo is telling big Bo and I? Oh, my God. <laughs> Those are 
good. They just stopped. They didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> She's good. Don't overthink it. Okay. Um, okay. Um, the last last roll of the question that I have on here from a fan was, um, are there any relationships, so this could be romance, attention, or even an enemy type of relationship that you wish you could have played more in the show? Or risen more? I would have really liked more with, with Zoe. <laughs> because Zoe was so, she's so funny. Yeah, she, like, oh man, her sense of humor. Like, I've always said, to this day, I, I joke about it with Paul all the time. Like, Zoe and I, we know we're truly funny. It's like <laughs> the greatest validation to have Zoe laugh at one of your jokes. Um, I also love that scene that we filmed when we were in the hospital and we were like sitting in the waiting room yes. and we were super awkward. We had so much fun filming it. Um, so I would, I would for sure like more of that. If, if people don't know that, it's obviously going to be some more healing. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of see that I was like, you need to refresh the screen. Yeah. 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 So obviously, we were really awkward about that. Okay. <laughs> that was incredible. Like, I really love the and so we were together. So I like that. Yeah. Well, I just remember Anthony called Sex and Roses post Canadian Opera Festival. Yeah. 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 Yeah.